hier. Good morning, everybody. So today we're going to be taking um, a bunch of logs to the mill. I'm driving the 4500 now, going to the shop, get the F700, uh, which is already loaded, take those logs to the mill. But most importantly, I want to make this video because I want to show you guys what I actually get paid from these logs. Um, there's some sort of confusion or whatever you want to call it. Um, at least in my area where customers think that you're making so much money from these logs when it's not the case and today I'm gonna show you at the end of this video I want to go through all the numbers and show you what really the actual numbers are for selling the logs again at least in my area I know there might be some states where you make uh, you know good amount of money uh, but you'll see what we actually make here in North Carolina in Wake County anyway stay tuned we are driving it's a beautiful day and uh, yeah I'll catch you guys when I get to the shop good morning everybody uh, so today we are going to take the 700 to the mill she's uh Fully loaded. But most importantly, in this video, I want to show you what I actually make from all these logs and uh, clear out any confusion. Let's show you guys what I got in here. what we got so how many is that two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen seventeen logs right one two three four five six seven yeah <laughs> so yeah that's one of the things I want to do today but like I said most importantly I want to I want to show you um, what I'm actually gonna make out of the logs um we also got let's see here we got this trailer full of debris this is the big tex 12 foot and then we got the 16 foot gooseneck uh iron bowl also i'm actually gonna have to go ahead and dump this one because i got some good logs that could utilize out of this we just we just trying to get out of the property, the jobs that we were in. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, I think there's a uh, down one, down one. There's a few. I think even this one here. There's a few good logs on that, so I'm going to have to go dump this. And uh, another day when we have time, pick up the trash and whatnot out of it, get the good logs. Um... <clears throat> But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, start the 700 and uh, inbound to the mill. All right, so um, as we let this old truck warm up, make sure you watch to the end. Get you guys out of the sun. Make sure you watch to the end because I'm gonna show the numbers, real numbers. And uh, hopefully clear a lot of confusion for not only uh, guys that want to get into this industry, but customers, you know, that think, hey, go ahead and cut my trees for the wood. It doesn't quite work that way. There is not that kind of money into logs. And uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you the numbers and I'm going to explain to you why there's not that much money at least in my area wake county nc and uh i hope that you guys go in the comments and let me know what you guys get in your area in your state whatever and uh we can share information that could be valuable for those watching these kind of videos 
All right, guys. The old girl, she needs about 15, 20 minutes to warm up, get the air brakes filled up, air tanks filled up, and um, then we could disengage them and hit the road. Finally got the 4500 back. I gotta make a separate video about that. Uh, it's been in the shop uh, seven times. Truck doesn't have 14,000 miles yet, or maybe it just hit 14,000 miles. But it's been in the shop seven times already. I'm gonna make a separate video about that, just in case you guys are looking into buying one of these trucks. Make sure you wait for my video first, and then you can make a better decision then because she's been a fun ride uh, also I keep saying it I gotta make a video about the bucket truck it's time guys it's running a YouTube channel it's uh, not easy it's another it's a job separate from your original job you know what I mean uh, but I do enjoy doing it and I know it does help and opens up uh, ideas and stuff for other people so that to me is valuable and uh, mostly, most importantly, it's because I do enjoy it. Anyways, I'm just chatting here. Let's get into the 700. I'm gonna record driving to the mill. Hopefully you guys could hear me inside the truck. First time doing this. And uh, if you haven't hit the likes button yet, hit it. If you're enjoying it or hit the thumbs down if you're not. I mean, let's be real, right? Not everything's gonna be enjoyable. <laughs> But uh, I hope you guys are having an amazing week. It's Monday and um, let's go ahead and kick butt and take names. Do what we do best. Thank you. We got the AC, brand new AC unit right here. <laughs> she's old, she's ugly, she's hot, she's loud, she smells, but she works. That's a lot of weight back there. And she doesn't even feel it. I can literally hook a trailer to it with this kit. And it will, it, will, it will make no difference to this truck. All right, guys. We're at the mill. Check it out. Oh, yeah.
bloods, bro. Setup right there. All right, guys, let's drive back to the shop, and then I'll I'll run those numbers for you guys. Get an idea of what you should expect to get paid for selling logs. Industry and have no clue where to start, right? Uh, 
previous videos, I talked about books I recommend. I talked about what you should expect to make as a climber, as a contract climber, a groundy. Um, I think my next video coming up, I'm gonna be talking about what you should expect to do in a company as a groundsman, right? What you should expect your duties to be as a groundsman. I think it's very important because there's a very, in other words, crappy leaders out there that own companies and they don't know how to lead their guys. And they really don't know how to delegate each employee's uh, task, right? So the, I think the next video I'm gonna talk about is the ground day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna literally run you through everything I expect for my groundsmen to know, or I'll teach them. But this is all basic stuff that a groundsman should know how to do. Um, I hope you guys find the, the value on that video. I know the, the previous um, videos about the climber and, and grounding, like what you should expect to make. It's got a lot of good comments and uh, feedback, so that's good. Person literally just caught me off. Well, yeah, guys, and as always, if you're enjoying the channel, if you're enjoying the content, please hit the like button that helps me with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe if you haven't yet. And as if you're enjoying it, if you're not enjoying it, hit the thumbs down and don't subscribe, obviously. Either way, I appreciate for you being here in this channel. We are growing, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I got so many stuff for this channel coming up in the future. If you're a tree guy, if you're a firewood guy, if you enjoy anything that has to do with tree work, subscribe to my channel. That's all I do, tree work. I'm a tree man, that is all I do. I climb trees, I fill trees, I make trees dance. We sell the logs, we talk about trucks, equipment, and you guys, through my journey, you're gonna see me grow. And hopefully, by watching my videos, it helps you grow as well. Or make easier decisions as what you wanna do moving forward in the future, right? That makes sense. Oh, the bumpy ride. Woo. Again, I'm talking to this camera, and I'm not sure if you guys can hear me because it's very loud. And unfortunately, like I said, I cannot put the windows off because there's no AC. So this is my AC, central AC window, I like to call it. All right, guys, I'll record when I get back to the shop. All right, guys, so I'm back on the 4500. Let's go over the numbers so I can show you what I actually make out of this log. Now, today's load, See if you can see there, the truck weighed it 13,600, and then we have 14,440 pounds of logs, right? So that's uh, seven tons, a little bit over seven tons, right? Now I can't show you what this load paid me today because that's not how it works. You drop it off and it takes them a week or two to give you email, um, mail you a check, right? But what I can show you, it's a paid invoice already, okay? Right there. Um, so we had, on this one, we had six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, about 12 tons, okay, on this load. Now 12 tons paid, About two hundred and sixty-one dollars and some change. Okay. A lot of people think, and before I continue, this is this was uh, hardwood logs, good hardwood logs, and uh, good pine. And then there was some pop wood on there, but you know there were some good logs on there, and that was two hundred and sixty-one dollars and eighty-eight cents. Now, 
some of you might think, oh, that's good money, right? And some of you might say, that's not good money. I said, it's okay. And here's why. You have to drive to the mill, right? First, obviously you gotta load the logs. Then you drive to the mill. That's from my shop, it's a good 20 minute drive. Then when you get to the mill, sometimes you have to wait 40 minutes, an hour to get unloaded. They used to allow you to dump and that was sweet because you just dump and go, but they don't like doing that anymore for a couple of reasons. One, uh, a lot of the drivers that have debris on their truck right like they have uh trash and dirt and stuff and they would be when you dump everything out of your truck it comes out into their land uh so they stop doing that for a lot one reason and then two this way they could check the actual logs right as they pick them up as you saw in the video they twist them around they can get to see the quality of them and where to you know allocate them in their yard so those are the two reasons why they don't let you dump now that process right there takes a while right so you're driving 20 minutes there 20 minutes back you are waiting a good 20 30 40 minutes to an hour there to unload like today it was very quickly there's barely anybody there all together it took about an hour a little bit over an hour time driving there unloading and driving back right then you gotta estimate so you're estimating your time then the gas wear and tear in your truck right you're driving there you're wasting diesel um for 261 dollars and 88 um i'm pretty sure i put all this in one load since it was under 15 tons um again this receipt is not what you saw in the video but what i had on here is pretty much about very similar to the same amount of weight but I did have good hardwood logs on this ticket. Whereas the one, the video you guys saw today, this one with the 14,400 pounds, I didn't. All I had is pine and there was some pulp wood on there as well. So I guarantee you the check for this one is gonna be less than $261 for sure. Um, so yeah, so why do I take the logs to the mill, right? If it's not worth to, to me. One, I'd rather get a little bit of money than no money at all and then having to take it anyways to a landfill, right? So I better get some chump change as opposed to no change. And then I actually have to pay out of pocket to dump it. So that's the main reason why I do it. But I wanted to make this video because there's this whole myth in the industry or, the, or like at least in my area, okay? I'm not gonna say the industry, take that back. In my area where a lot of people think there's all these money in logs. Like they see a truck load like that, like you saw in this video, and then thinking, woo, he's got like six, seven, eight hundred bucks on there when that's not the case at all. And then you got some of the crazies out there that one, they contact you for, you think it's service, but come to find out is, well, I got all these trees, is wondering if you could cut them all down and do the job for the wood. It's like, there's no money there, you know? Like you saw how many logs there were in that truck. It's just <laughs> crazy, right? Um, so, and, and, and just to be clear, I don't want to disrespect anybody. So if you are a person who, who thought, you know, logs are no disrespect intended, you didn't know, right? So this, this is the whole thing. We have to educate the client, the prospect. Um, and don't be shy to do it. Don't be embarrassed to do it. Tell them straight up. There is no money in logs. The only reason we take money to the logs to the mill is to save the dump fees at the, at the landfill. That's it. You know, it's a lot of time. It's beating on your trucks. I mean, this is a big, heavy trucks. Cost diesel. You know, your time. So, that is it, guys. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope it brought you value in any way. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna put into this video all together because I'm not really sure if the sound worked on the 700. But uh, other than that, I'm gonna. That's the end of this video. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoy the video and uh, if you haven't yet, and then hit that like button. That really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Other than that, I catch you guys on the next video.